disturbing new developments tonight in the brutal murder of a college student that has shocked the tri-state. New York cops tonight say a 13-year-old boy, 13 years old, was responsible for the stabbing death of 18-year-old Tess Majors, a freshman at Barnard College in Manhattan. I would assume reporter Naveen Dhaliwal, live at the scene in Morningside Heights with the latest. Naveen. Now, Bill, this crime has been very hard on the Barnard at Columbia community as well as neighbors here. There's a growing memorial here at the top of the stairs where Tess Majors collapsed moments after she was stabbed. Now, people have been coming here. They want to pay their respects. And they're also finding out about this arrest. That suspect, so young, no one can make sense of this. Ilana Kilkenny had to see the site for herself. I think there's so many levels of how we feel. First and foremost, just the tragedy of it. Um, I have two kids myself. The brutal killing of Tess Majors, heavy on the hearts of so many today. There was a life that was taken, and we want to honor her and be in solidarity with her family, with her friends here on campus. The 18-year-old was fatally stabbed in Morningside Park during a robbery Wednesday night. And even more stunning, a 13-year-old teenager facing charges of murder and robbery. A 13-year-old. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Taking away a promising life of a girl who was a talented musician and enjoyed writing. Here she is last May on a podcast talking about her plans. I'm going to Barnard. It's in New York City, uh, South Street from Columbia. It's an all girls school. I'm really excited about that. Her family in a statement saying this, we are devastated by the senseless loss of our beautiful and talented Tess. We are thankful for the incredible outpouring of love and support we have received from across the country. And now she'll be a part of this New York City community forever. She's one of us. Like, she could have been my child. She truly is here. Now, police say that 13-year-old made statements linking him to the crime. They say he has not confessed. He's being held without bail. And police also looking for two other suspects.